You know, between someone like Aglet and Fortune, I would, I would probably pick Aglet. Uh, or Mahone and Fortune, I would probably pick Mahone. So I didn't quite catch which character he he went. Did he see? I think we're going to start off with him one more. TK vs. Luigi, Pittsburgh hype. That's right, CTL. You never know. It could go either way, man. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Ken. What is Fortune's face right now? <laughs> He's either like, oh my god, look how Fortune's poking at Fortune is right now. He was like staring at the screen like, Ooh. No, Number one Smash Mini villain at the moment, right? I, immediately after that incident, I posted on his wall, you realize what you've done? You made <laughs> SG into the good guy. Because <laughs> SG's sort of always been a villain at College Park. Oh, so, really? Uh, yeah. Guys, don't get the story twisted. That's not how it is. I mean, Fortune is still the worst. Besides Chew. Chew is still king of the grind <laughs> PR. Fortune just jumped up a second over Nintendo. All right, Fortune is playing Fox. Ace of Flakes rocking that naked puff, and they're going to Fallon. Interesting. This is I know this is one of uh, Ace of Flakes' favorite stages, so yeah, and also to see him here. he and Shinku struck here too. Yeah, I, I really did not understand why Shinku would strike here, but he did win the first game. So that's a missed tech. See ya. Fortune knows better than not to predict that tech trap, and the CP crowd is going wild. It's funny, when CP has to play each other, they never cheer, because we just hate to see each other, you know. <laughs> we hate to see ourselves knocking each other that back out, was intentional? He grabbed um, me at, like, 12, which is, like... Yeah, no, nah, probably not. I did a lot of bad back throws when I meant to do, like, up throws and stuff myself, so... Especially just walking, walk, rocking a white controller. You never know what those analog sticks. It's looking bad for Fortune right now. I think if he's going to want to win this set, he's going to have to play that puff today, because right now, Ace of Flakes is all over him. Well, Ace of Flakes really controlled the first game versus Shinku and threw it all away. Yeah. Off of an uncharged rollout. College Park in the crowd right now. Scrap Metal watching Fortune very intently. Trying to open him up with a nair. You get a lot off of that nair. You can get a tech trap. You can get a... Oh, that's it. He's in control. Is he going to force stock Fortune? No. Nope. No, he's not. I don't know why I thought that. JV. The crowd is cheering for a JV. It could happen. All he needs is one knockdown. Lasers don't count. <laughs> don't forget. Don't get it twisted. Let's go. Oh. oh. No uh, jab reset. Oh, my goodness. Is that a tech job? <laughs> <laughs> Ace just shakes his and head. see, this is, goes to my point. Like, before, um, when Ace Flakes missed their rest, Shinku just charged up, so I just got 17%. Yeah. Fortune's got 44% off of that laser laser drill grab up throw, yeah. up air. Interesting. I've seen um, Ace of Flakes incorporate a lot more Nair into his game, though. Maybe he's trying to do that against spaces to open them up. Oh, he's trying to make them miss the tech and jab reset them. Yeah, or go for to. that F smash. That's always fun. Nair into F smash or like an answer an aerial. Great wave dash back. Or just a rock. <laughs> it's so strong. I mean, Jigglypuff is a fairy type. She resists dragons. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's man. immune. Fortune going to FD. He's sticking with Fox. Wow. Maybe I don't decision, know who I he think. lost the uh, Xanadu set as, but he's feeling very confident with Fox right now. <laughs> that really did not work out for him. That was a pretty bad strike, in my opinion. <laughs> right, I think so the, the, the counter pick of all the puffs now, like uh -huh. this fountain. And you can beat um, Ace of Flakes if you just have very solid fundamentals. So. You know, if he shoots that gun, if he gets those kills at the percent that he needs to, like these, oh. It's a good smash the eye there. Yeah. A, a difference between the last match we saw, which yeah. I mean, was to getting hit by every up throw up air. In this matchup, it's interesting, because Fox almost has to kill Puff at, like, <laughs> 60 to 80. Otherwise, it's... It's like backing them at 150, like... Yeah, because you... And that's why I don't like Mewtwo King's strategy as much. He always goes for the, uh... Laser runaway. Up smash. Yeah, he always goes for the laser runaway, and then he gets caught up trying to go for the back airs or whatever. So, so far it's working out very well for Fortune. He's playing very patiently. Oh, great job, he said. That's so funny, just watching Debuff hobble over. Explode. Because you know she's go trying as fast as she can. <laughs> yeah, she really cannot move fast at all on the ground. Like, if you watch her run, her legs are so tiny, so she has to put in so much work. I always feel so bad for it. But the best is when she just does her uh, headbutt, because then she just goes flying. Then it's like, whoosh. The up smash or? No, the, uh, oh, the headbutt, da <laughs> headbutt, dash attack. Yeah, head headbutt, dash attack. <laughs> Almost got a tech chase off there. 
I think Xbox is doing a good job of Ooh. like making Fortune kind of a yeah. go for approach to be just getting back and forth. Great conversion on that weak hit back and up smash though. Yeah, but there's too many trades in the last sequence for. Uh -huh. Fortune that, looking that much that better this round. <laughs> Playing very patient, not letting himself get hit by the bear wall until now. Commentator's curse. <laughs> that was never uh, gonna work. Was, no, that should have been a back. He should have known better. Oh. Interesting. He's not gonna pay too much for it, but <laughs> Fortune with the Gypsies. What what the what the heck? Wow. I'm, that was, I'm speechless. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> the raw forward smashes. Reverse hit forward smash. That forward smash is so strong. That's one of my favorite moves to use with Jigglypuff. It's like 20 times better than Falco's. You just don't have as many setups into it. Oh, here we go. He went for a jab into the regard and then... Yeah. So Rest probably out of play until the second sock is taken. Yeah, I think he's going to have to do it, uh, do it the old-fashioned way here. Oh, this for the is just out of range. Triple spot down. The caveman. <laughs> Get back here. Oh. Sneak okay. in. No, up there? Oh, what the heck? No dashes. Ace is playing very high right now. He's not sort of going for those lower edge guards at all. Ooh, you can't just stay there. I'd like to see him put up more of a wall instead of trying to be like really precise. Invincible? Oh, oh unfortunate. Missed leg. Nice. Ace missed a couple critical low percent kills. Or uh, a couple critical off stage edge guards. Oh, Another one, yeah. Match. I think he could uh, possibly look into doing like a down air to cover the sort of lateral range of the side B or nice F there. So rest is back in play. Yeah, it's not over yet. This is like a tie game. That's what's so crazy about this <laughs> matchup, you know? Yeah. Percent does not matter. And I think being very patient. Fortune is kind of just a simple mistake. If he's making play down smash, then he's going to notice he's just going to play the game. He's just going to play the game. He's going to play the game. He's going to play the Watch out, Smash and Session Fortune. Fortune focusing very important right now. He's got a scrap metal over in his corner. He's got Shinku in his corner, I think. I can't see from here, but uh. And with it, with long hair, I don't recognize him. Uh, oh, yeah, never mind. That's the guy from uh, Hopkins. I don't know his name, so shout out to him. Dreamland. Okay. And then. More survivabilities. Yeah. Mata Jr., Peanut Phobia. Jimmy looking on from behind. Oh, this is a great back way to Oh, yeah. wow. Great rest. Looking like uh, H-Box versus PP. I think that's how he ended that one tournament. I forget which tournament it was, but... I just remember when H-Box like, first like became a, a force, like, he would just like, rest spaces out of the 4B all the time. Yeah, dude, it's it's such a good option. If you, if he you hasn't get, if done you it right years, though, so I don't Yeah. Know. I feel like H-Box doesn't do things he used to and like it's weird because you don't usually see a player go in like that order where they stop doing things and then stop wi stop winning you know usually they get better over time but like I don't know I feel like he's like I used to love watching H-Box and now maybe I just feel like I've seen it all and that was some sketchy DI on that up smash yeah definitely I don't know what he maybe he was trying to jump and say so went straight up I don't know and that should have been some left DI oh, good grab Astro? Oh, doesn't oh. manage to grab the ledge. And then Fortune's scared of, of going for the edge guard versus Puff, so he just kind of lets her get back. Yeah. And she'd used, like, four of her, her jumps, so... Oh, that was an overcommitment on that 4B, but... Yeah. Good FAs. Not good. Good, good pressure, like... Forcing very cognizant of the roll in getting rested, so he yeah. went to the, the ledge, which is kind of almost a worse option. Yeah. This seems to be a much closer set than our last one, so let's see if anyone can run away with it. I think this will probably be a 3 1. Whoever wins this game won the set. Yeah. Now, I've seen Ace of Flakes go for that narrow neutral lap, but it just quite, hasn't quite paid off for him. I think just putting up a bear wall might get him some more leverage here. I just think as a puff player, Fortune's very cognizant of all those knockdowns and the yeah. jab resets. He's not getting cheesed out by it. Mm -hmm. Tight battle. Definitely. It lays away from even... Oh, interesting. A reverse. Another random jab into up smash. He was trying to go for some reverse fair stuff. Maybe it was just an accident, because usually you see him air mm -hmm. that kind of setup, but interesting. 
Both of them are playing a very basic game right now. That was a nice, Fortune. simple. Charity stack. None of them are trying to do too much, really. They're just constantly feeling each other out, trying to get these little openings, but none of them's gotten, like, a huge punish so far this game. Thank you. Except that might be... Yeah, that might have to do with the size of the stage. Yeah, other than that edge guard rest. Ooh, Chase is down. Up smash. Good tech chase. Ace of Flakes Gus, be careful that he doesn't just quite throw out moves randomly. He's got a... That's why he's been hitting, hitting, those, hitting him with those jabs. Yeah, definitely. He's got to focus a little bit more on just his, uh, his positioning in neutral games so he can really constantly keep himself as an, at an advantage. And not just to like, just be throwing out aerials for no reason. You have to have a purpose. Yeah. Almost dead. Two. Oh! All right, we take those. Again? And again, back Even to attack game. Game. Goes for it. Oh, my goodness. Oh. He's usually pretty good at that punish. He's usually He's gotten that punish many times in the past, mm -hmm. but just a little bit off that time. I don't know if Wispy threw him off or what, but... Uh, that was He was not reaching there. He's gotten that punish many times in tourney before, and he's gotten it in that exact scenario many times before. So uh, I have to credit him for going for it. I think it was a good effort, but we'll see. He immediately was going for a, a back air into quick up throw rest setup. You know he's feeding for it. Mm. Now, see, I think Fortune's just taking the momentum just, like, running away with it now. And Josh is kind of looking kind of lost. It's kind of like... Yeah, he's just got to really keep it back to his uh, his basics. That can happen to Josh sometimes. He'll just get a little bit frazzled and sort of start playing until I'll just throw out moves. He'll get hit by aerials from putting himself in a bad neutral position that he shouldn't have gotten hit by. And up smashes, so. And again, we see the fortune is letting him back to the edge. Like. Yeah. I don't know if he's just... I thought as Steve by the ledge, he's not really confident in it. Oh, almost a champ combo. But. Yeah. After. Good option. Should be dead. Catches him out of that rolling. Oh, oh, no. Nothing out of he's it. He needs to grab the ledge. Like. Yeah. Sometimes, if you, you want to go off the stage because you feel like that's what you need to do in order to secure an edge guard, mm -hmm. and then you realize that they've gone too far, and then you're not sure if you should go back or go down mm -hmm. or what. And that slight hesitation is just enough to mess up your entire opportunity for a kill. And especially all those angles, Fox can go like he can go really deep and come yeah, back. Yeah, all the windbow angles. Mm -hmm. There's like 200 something elements. Ridiculous. Isn't it the three Shout out to analog controls. <laughs> there are certain. It's weird. There are certain like directions you can't go. No. So it's not like I don't know. Oh. It, it is discreet to a certain amount, but it's like still a pretty high number. Ooh. No rest Hold? that time with the tree in effect. Yeah. Might not have been a bad idea so, since he was up on percent, but uh, maybe it wasn't quite the right spac spacing on the up smash shield stun either. And at this percent, Fortune's going to have time combo into a kill move, so he's got at back air. That works. <laughs> yeah. Earlier when I saw um, Ace of Flakes being really on point, he was just being very patient coming back from the ledge. Just... One up. The oh, nice jab reset. That was the longest nubbin I've ever seen. That like really was. <laughs> he stuck. <laughs> she stuck her little arms all the way out there. She and this like, is knowing your character and you. spacing. Like, <laughs> you know how Ness has magnet arms. Like, yeah. Puff has magnet nubbins. Oh my goodness. Can you even call them arms? They literally stick out below her eyes, folks. <laughs> below her eyes. Look at Jigglypuff. Her arms are level with her mouth. Consider that, <laughs> Consider that for a moment. Consider that for a moment. Her legs and ears kind of make sense. Beyond that. Uh, I just think it looks ridiculous. Oh, another goodness. jab up He needs to be smashing those jabs. Yeah, he's got to hit and that out. Air dodging hard. immediately. He's got to get out. But so far, looking good for Ace of Flakes. That. Uh, Jab reset rest could have really been the momentum changer here. Maybe we won't see a 3 1. Still, anyone set. Ooh. Switching on for some quick drill punishes. 
Lean on the Nairs. Just trying to build up that damage before he can get an up smash off. Yeah. Ooh, oh, great crazy flick. Another oh, reason no. to just grab the ledge right there. This should be it. All right, good okay. stuff. Good trade. So Ace of Flakes with the slight lead so far. But he's still in a position to get grab up there up air. Uh-huh. Fortune's got to be very careful he doesn't get uh, foolishly rested. He's doing a good job of playing a patient. Fortune's trying to come in this weak news layer and uh, Oh. I think he tempts him to, to go for that rest punish again. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, just flying around in his face and get up smash for it. All right. This is so tight right now. Is this going to be it? Is Fortune going to advance? And he's got the momentum, I think. Or is Ace of Flakes going to force a game five? It's hard to tell right now. But the way that Fortune's putting on this damage, it's just one more up smash away. Then there, there it is. Called it. Yes, he did. Whew. So, winners finals. Fortune. All right, uh, SG. Fortune versus